all right so what is good everybody on youtube this is of course your boy b bullet rc coming to you guys again with yet an 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 and listen man the weekend is almost over so you already know what time it is it's time to get into this week's heat oh hi when we get into the latest sneaker releases sneaker rumors or anything i want to talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world that is what we do here today and remember if i don't talk about a shoe either i forgot about it didn't edit it in or it was just that basura that i did not want to expose y'all to it but this week Designer guys are back in the building. The Basuda boys are back in the building. And we do have that Basuda designer pack. And it's hitting this week. But don't worry. We're going to get to it. And of course, I'm going to expose you to it. If you enjoy the heater hypes, make sure you drop a like on this big sub up if you haven't already. And finesse the bell as well. Also, a new video dropped yesterday. A link will be down below. As soon as you get done watching this heater hype, Go peep that. It's another early heat banger. If you have not seen it yet, go peep it. Like I said, link below. This week, we got more leaks, more rumors, a lot of stuff to talk about. So I don't want to take too long in this intro. I'm going to just need y'all to sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and get into this week's heat or hype. First up, let's go ahead and get into some releases that are coming up in a few days. The first one is kind of a rumor because I haven't seen too much info on this. But apparently tomorrow on the 26th, there's going to be three pairs of the Yeezy Slides restocking coming in the core, resin, and the pure colorways. I believe these are the original three colorways that dropped. They are supposed to be restocking. Now, we've already heard that the core is supposed to be restocking, but these other two coming back is new news to me. And especially all three of them coming out tomorrow out of nowhere. I'm not sure that's going to happen. So just be paying attention to Yeezy Supply, maybe Adidas, but these three should be restocking very, very soon. Obviously, another big one for this week is the University Blue Air Jordan 4. I told y'all, go peep yesterday's video. Early Heat Pack came in. Those are dropping on the 28th, and I'm going to leave that right there. Another two big releases for this week is Sakai Vapor Waffles. Now, first up, we have the Sesame Colorway. These are going to be dropping on April 29th. That's a Thursday. Retail is $180. I love the Vapor Waffle, but I am not in love with this newer version of the shoe. I like the mesh over this plushy nylon whatever upper they're using. And while I do like the colorway itself, I just like the original version over this one. So this one will be a pass for me. But we also have the Dark Iris colorway, which is more of a purple, orange, black, white, you know, more of a darker hue. And again, I like this colorway but I do not like the upper. So this one will be a pass as well. And these again, releasing the same day, the 29th for 180. For the first JB leak this week, slide bars, we have a Cardinal Air Jordan 3. And I gotta be honest, this colorway looks fire from this mock-up. The only problem is that I already have Katrina 3s and Katrina 3s and Cardinals. Yes, the red is gonna be a little bit different. Yes, the yellow on the tongue, I love that hit. I don't know if it's going to be different enough for me to justify copying this shoe. But I got to say off of first looks as far as this mock-up goes, because it could look different when they drop. Y'all know, fresh leak, fresh rumor. This is going to be a good colorway. Now, here's the catch. I know we're only in 2021, but we are starting to get 2022 leaks already. And this is one of them. So since this is such a fresh leak, I'm going to leave it right there. Cardinal 3s, in my opinion, these are clean. Now, this next one is back on the weird shit, but it was a random shoe that I saw that I thought was kind of unique. I kind of like, And that is this Reebok Zig 3D Storm Hydro. And as y'all can see, you got two colorways, a lighter hue and a darker hue. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them. I just like the lighter hue color. As far as something coming out of Reebok, this looks totally different than most of the stuff I see coming from them. I don't know. I just thought they were kind of cool. So, blam, these joints right here. As far as the release date, it's supposed to be dropping on the 7th, and the retail is a bit hefty at 180 Lately, we've been getting a lot of Yeezy news, and kind of out of nowhere, a lot of new colorways, and I'm actually starting to dig some of the stuff that they're coming out with. Now, we have another one right here, which is this Onyx. Yeezy Quantum. We've been talking about an all-black Yeezy Quantum for a while now, and it seems that these should be dropping sometime in September. Again, this right here is a mock-up. It's a color flip 
on you know a regular shoe if i'm not mistaken the quantum is going to retail for 250 and it's been one of those yeezys that just does not have a high resale value just because a lot of the colorways they've been dropping some of them have been really good and others to me just have been kind of a miss or just so similar to some of the other colorways so this all black pair I would assume that an all black Yeezy would sell out, but since this is a quantum, I'm just not sure. These are supposed to drop till September though, so once we get to that date, closer to that date, get some actual photos of the shoe, I'll update y'all. In some Nike basketball news, we actually got some new colorways of the LeBron 18 low, and they're kind of going hard with the collabs on this shoe. Now we got two from Atmos this week to talk about. First one being the LeBron 18 low Sakura or Sakura which is usually how I'm gonna say it. And I know LeBron was actually spotted on court wearing this shoe. Y'all can see him right here. It's a cool looking shoe. Reminds me of the old LeBrons when they drop with these crazy themes to them. And overall, I do like this colorway. Is it something I would wear? No, but I do like them. Now, as far as when these are supposed to be dropping, I believe it's the 23rd on Nike sneakers and retail is 180. Then we get into the second at most collab and it is Blam, another 18 low. Now this is the Viotech colorway retail my bad I said 180 before it is 170 and these should be dropping on may 4th on nike sneakers if i had to pick between the sakura pair as well as this biotech joint i'd probably pick the sakura a little bit better i know the browns you know people like the browns the earthy tones but something about the crazy pink crazy theme reminds me of lebron's of old and i like those a little bit better but the biotechs are clean as well remember the sakura pair is supposed to be dropping 23rd of may and the biotech on may 4th a few months ago, we talked about a Bape and Adidas collab, and we have another colorway coming out in the ABC camo. Blame y'all see them right here, that more all over green hue. Then you got the white stripes as well as the white apes to star. Now, when I talked about the original, just kind of clean, basic white and black pair, I like those, and I like this colorway as well. In my opinion, sometimes putting that camo on some shoes just does a little bit too much. And for, maybe for some of y'all, this is too much as well, but... I feel like it works on the Superstar. It kind of fits on the Superstar. And again, these are just, they're straight in my opinion. They're cool. Now, as far as a release date, I believe it is May 7th. And retail on these is going to be 190 More than likely, you're going to have to try to cop on the Adidas Confirmed app or at Bape stores. Now, we cannot do a heater hype in 2021 without having a few pair of dunks on it. And this week, we do have a few. First up being a navy and white high pair of the dunks another simple clean colorway it's gonna sell out retail is 110 release date we do not have it yet but i'm assuming that these are gonna be dropping pretty soon nike is already on their way to running the dunks back into the ground and i actually am all for it as long as those resale prices are dropping on the nike dunk i am down this colorway right here another simple clean dunk colorway not much else to get into now we have another pair we have a georgetown dunk low and these, I mean, the threes were cool, but the dunks, as far as this colorway goes, it looks really good on a dunk low. All over in the upper, you got that midnight navy blue, and then you have the gray, Georgetown colorway. This one is another fresh leak, although we have those official photos, there is no official release date yet, and I believe retail is 100 on the dunk low. This one right here, as far as for retail goes, and this would be a pretty easy cop for me. Of course, Nike, ladies out there, small feet gang, they are not going to forget about y'all. And we have a crimson tint pair of Nike Dunk Highs. This is another one with those official photos, but no release date yet. But I can tell you already, this is a good colorway, especially for spring and summer. And these are out of here. The retail on this joint is going to be 110 and... I mean, I feel like these are just gonna get eaten up, bro. Luckily, the Dunk resale price has been dropping because I feel like this particular pair, if it wasn't, they might go a little bit crazy. But hey, to the ladies out there watching all how many ever percent, I think it's 7.5 or 7.9, something like that percent. Hey, if you do want the shoe, I hope you can hit. We got more dunks, but let's just take a break real quick. And we have a brand new pair of Air Force Ones. Now, these joints right here are called the Great Unity Air Force One. And it's a lot of behind the story behind this shoe. On Sneaker News, they talk about classical Chinese philosophy, Confucian texts, Confucius. Like, it's a lot that goes on 
with this particular shoe. I'm gonna speak on it from what I see the looks. And from the looks of this shoe, it is a nice pair of forces. Honestly, it kinda looks like a collab force in my opinion. And I really like the back tab on the heel. It's this really weird like hologram type effect on it. Of course, I'll throw a picture up here for y'all. I like the great unity text like debossed in on the side, the clear Nike swoops here. Just some good details on this shoe, which makes up for a good pair of forces. Now, no release date, of course fresh leaks retail right now is said to be 110 and that's really all info we got be expecting to see these pop up on nike sneakers pretty soon though okay back to the dunks another banger for the ladies out there the laser orange dunk low another fresh leak fresh rumor retail should be 100 no released it yet this is a fire colorway i just you know i like the syracuses so this right here is like a lighter orange and white so of course i'm gonna dig these in my opinion this one is for sure a cop. But for the ladies out there in the audience, y'all let me know how y'all feel about these. And then the last dunk that we have, these ones might be a problem. These might cause a couple problems. Is a University Blue Dunk Low. Yep, a UNC Dunk Low is on the way. And when dunks like this drop, that's why you gotta be glad that the resale price has been dropping on these joints. Because I know these would have probably been putting up them Syracuse Kentucky numbers and honestly they still could any dunks in those like legendary Jordan 1 colorways can be a problem but hopefully that does not happen with this pair I mean these joints they're they're Carolina blue low top dunks clean cop easy the next one we got is a brand new pair of air drum one mids every time I'm gonna tell you I wish it was a high top but it is these joints right here which is this brush stroke Jordan 1 mid in my opinion, these are pretty unique. I like the materials used. I like the paint splatter all over the upper. It's a pretty cool pair of one mids. But I still wish that it was an Air Jordan 1 High. It would have just went that much harder. And seeing how basic Jordan 1 mids sell out because yes, unfortunately, the resellers have gotten to the one mids. And yes, unfortunately, people are reselling all white Air Force 1s. Yes, that is happening. This Air Drone 1 mid will definitely be selling out just because it's one of the more unique pairs. So if you do go for them, I hope you can get that retail dub. Now we did get an update on this Racer Blue Air Jordan 3. The official release date is going to be July 10th. Retail is still going to be 190 It's a clean 3, don't get me wrong, but it is not a 1000% need to cop in my opinion. This one will be a pretty easy pass for me. And plus on the official photos, the elephant print looks kind of weird. Maybe it's not even elephant print. I'm just so used to seeing it on the three, the elephant print, but it just looks like tire tread or something. I don't know. This Racer Blue 3 is cool, just not something I'm really looking forward to. Now, this next shoe was actually one that was edited out of last week's Heater Hype, and that is this brand new Wings Air Jordan 5 Low, or the class of 2020, 2021 Air Jordan 5 Low. Y'all know they usually do stuff like the cap and gown. Well, this time they're doing it on an Air Jordan 5. For me, uh, these would be a pretty easy pass. These would have been a lot harder had it been an Air Jordan 5 high, but I do like the choice of materials, the little all black tassel, the embroidery on the sides of the gold. There's some good details on this shoe, but overall, it would be a pass for me. As far as a solid release date on these, there isn't one yet, but they should be dropping next month in May. Next up, we got another pair of dunks, and this is actually from that animal pack. Blam, y'all see them right here. Now, if you are across the pond in Europe, these are dropping on April 29th. No release date for anywhere else just yet. Now, these being a part of that ammo print pack, these are more of a giraffe design. And more than likely, I will be going for these, but not for me. Probably be going for it for Anna because Anna's favorite animal is, you know, a giraffe. She has a giraffe coffee mug. So more than likely, I'll be going for these, but not for my toe, for Anna's toe. And to round out all the dunks, I don't think we got any more dunks on this list, is a brand new N7 Dunk Low. All over seems to be a purple suede or a purple nubuck. And there are a lot of good little details on the shoe. You have the weave outlining on the swoosh, all the extra leather, embroidery on the top, as well as embroidery back there on the heel. There's a lot of little good details with this one in particular. 
Now, since this is a brand new leak, these are official photos though. There's no official release date or retail on this shoe yet, but as far as dunks go, switching up the dunk, this is another pretty good one. As far as how much I would actually wear this shoe, I don't know. This color might not be for me, but I'm digging where they're going for with this shoe. And as far as Nike dunks go for this week, that's it. We might have had like six, seven, eight pair of dunks just on this week's list. That's crazy. But now with that out of the way, you already know what time it is. Okay, it is time to get into this week's official Basuda of the week. And it comes once again via the Basuda boys from the designer side. You know, the designer guys are here. They are here with the Basuda pack, fresh and hot off the oven. And this time it comes from Dolce and Gabbana on a sneaker that I have talked about before. But this time, they just went crazy with it. They went like kindergarten art project with these joints right here. You understand once you see it, bro. Somebody did this. this is the Dolce and Gabbana Sorrento slip-on sneaker. And this is a special edition version of the shoe. And do y'all see now where I was coming from, bro? This looks like one of my kindergarten projects. If I would have took my shoe off and just glued every fuzzy ball, every little toy in the classroom to my sneaker. And this shoe usually retails at $645. Now, the retail on this pair probably was higher. So I'm going to assume about 700 to 800 to wear these Basuda joints on your feet. I just wanna know who out there bought these cause y'all know somebody bought these joints, bruh. Somebody, somebody did, this. did this, bruh. I just wanna know what type of person you gotta be to spend 700 plus dollars on these paper mache shits right here, bruh. And as far as the Basuda of the week goes, that is gonna be a nice, clean, simple, one Basuda sneaker. Not too much, not too little, but I felt like these right here can hold up on their own the Basuda of the week. Now, y'all already know what to do. Give me three words to describe these paper mache NMDs right here, and that is it. Listen, we need to get these shits off my screen, thank you, because we need to go ahead and get back to the heat, bro. The next shoe we got is another pair of SBs. It is a dunk, but we switched up a little bit. It's an SB, and this is this TV Static SB Dunk High. Now, bad news is that these will not be dropping in the US as of right now. Seems like it could be because of COVID shipping delays, just something happened and these will not be releasing in the US. That's the news as of right now. Now, as far as where else they're actually gonna be dropping at, I'm not sure just yet. This is another one that just popped up. In my opinion, it's another good SB. It's a themed SB and it just, it does enough. It's black, white. Then you had the TV static on the mid panel back there towards the hill. It's not the craziest SB, but it does the job and I do like this pair. Unfortunately, not releasing in the US and I'm not spending resale for these, so these would be a pass just for that reason. Now for a couple weeks, we were getting Air Jordan 5 PE after PE after PE. So many that I stopped talking about them, but then there was one that dropped out of nowhere. Not actually dropped for everybody, but just pictures dropped. Just wanna clear that up. And this is a Georgetown Air Jordan 5. These joints right here and these joints is crazy. Now, once again, unless you're about to pay some crazy chips off the hip or you know someone on the team or you play on the team, you are not getting these shits right here. But out of all the P's that we saw, I definitely wanted to highlight these because that gray upper with the white midsole with the blue on the shark teeth, this is a good looking five. And I hope that they take this color blocking exactly like this colorway and adapt it somehow to a GR5 release in the future. This week, we got another fire colorway in the EG700. Now this is a mock-up but I hope the shoe looks just like the mock-up. Blam, y'all see him right here. This is the Yeezy Boost 700 in Flame Amber, and as far as your release date, they should be dropping sometime in June. And I'ma keep it a buck. Yeah, it's more tan, brown hues on a Yeezy, but on this 700 with that orange outsole, these joints is looking different. They looking clean. New retail should be 240, and you know, sign me up. I didn't get the Suns, didn't get the blue joints, Hey, I'm gonna try again for these. Now some big news that dropped like right after I got done with my heater hype is these Red October or Vermilion pairs of 
the Yeezy Foam Runner. Yes, an all-over red pair of the Yeezy Foam Runner should be dropping in October of this year, retailing for $75. I'm still O for all three Yeezy Foam Runners so far. I need to go ahead and try to get a pair before the price goes crazy on them. And you already know, all red, red October, vermilion, whatever the case is, all red Foam Runners are going to go. This would be a cop for me. Y'all know I like the Foam Runner. We'll see how it goes when they actually drop. And some more big news we got two more pairs of union air jordan 4s are on the way blam y'all see both colorways right here and i gotta give it to union i did not like the guavas bruh it's a weird colorway in hand super clean and i feel like these two colorways right here the color blocking is definitely weird not stuff that we're used to seeing but i feel like with the right fit these are gonna go. I already learned my lesson with the Guava 4s, and I feel like both of these colorways, although they are weird colorways for the Air Jordan 4, you put the right fit on with them, and the materials, the way they do the Union Jordan 4, is gonna speak for itself. But that taupe color with that blue is looking good. Now again, this is all we got for right now. We don't have a lot of info, but this shoe should be dropping sometime in summer of this year, 2021. And as far as all releases go for this week, that is it. Remember, make sure you drop a like on this bit, sub up if you haven't already, and finesse the bell as well. And let me know down below in the comments, did you cop anything this week or did you save all the money in the pockets? Remember, that is always a good option. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Twitch. The Twitch is BulldRC, by the way. We actually might be live right now, so hey, check if there's a Twitch link down below in the comments. Here, there, bless blah, of course. I ain't got no shoes on me right now, so BulldRC, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Don't got a lot of time. It's time for me to go edit. Much love. Catch y'all next one. Peace. <laughs> If you come here trying to take some, there's a lot more where that came from, and it really ain't.